this is not how we expected it to go. <laughs> All aboard! On the first leg of our journey, we took the Amtrak Coast Starlight from Klamath Falls to Portland. Now we're jumping on the Amtrak Empire Builder sleeper train in Portland and living on it for two full days. We've never spent the night on a train before. We'll travel 2,257 miles through eight mostly snow-covered states all the way to Union Station in Chicago. We'll show you what it's like to eat train food, sleep in a room on a 40-year-old superliner, and shower in like two square feet. And we're not getting off until we can answer the age-old question. Does living on a train suck? Did it really suck? Then we'll show you the only two things you really need to do if you ever make it to the Windy City. We don't have a dining car tonight, so they, they brought us our dinner. I thought we were gonna have like utensils in an ice dining car, but they gave us, well, don't you know food's any good? And oh, we're in a real room now. We'll show you the room later. Leela's looks kind of better than mine. Supposedly a sandwich has got a tiny bit of chicken in it. Pretty dry. I guess I got something called fresh air breaks. We're here. Never, never, never heard of it. That's T. I hope she's okay being on camera. Oh no. <laughs> she's our Hello. sleeper car attendant. When we sleep, like every hour she comes in and checks on us and makes she checks our breathing, she listens. <laughs> and if we're not breathing, she turns us over, right? Is that yes, kind of what I you do? do. Yes, I do. I'm the sleeper car attendant slash porter slash door attendant. I'm here if you need me. He's All amazing. Oh, Your favorite hey, thing about hey, being on the train? With people watching. Hang with new friends on I'm the train. Yeah. What's your favorite thing? As well as meeting people. Yeah. Do you guys know each other? No. no. Yeah. My favorite thing is you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Kind of make a party. She's awake and going outside because they stopped and it's like two degrees outside. I'm in Whitefish, Montana. You gotta come down here a little bit okay. to see if you can get a shot of the city. Oh, oh, my, gosh. oh my gosh, that's the train run. And here's this. Oh. Oh. I love the sounds of this. Take every fresh air break you can. It's snowing just a little bit. I'm in this magical little town. Not exactly waking up Instagrammy, but pretty comfortable. We started out trying to sleep on this little little bed here, <laughs> but she booted me, and I ended up going um, up up there. I was like party do last night, hanging with my buddies in the lounge. And Leela was like <sighs> crashed out, and then she's been like just talking incessantly while I've been trying to sleep for the last two hours. I was like in this like Hallmark Whitefish, Montana, and she's already showered in that time. She took like a. 12 second shower. Oh, they did give us soap. Do they give us shampoo? No, no shampoo. The shower is not super big. I used to be 5'11 and I'm like 193 pounds of mostly thick hair. If you were much bigger than me, you'd have a hard time in here. It's actually not bad, it's doable. And this is what it's like to get ready in the morning in a train. And we learned yesterday, didn't even know this, we're gonna be going by Glacier National Park. This is really cool. I think we made the right call. It's even more fun than the RV or a plane. This is one of my favorite adventures so far. What are you gonna have this way? When you book a room or a roomette, all of the meals are included and served in the dining car. This is much better than yesterday. Mine is fresh and way better than yesterday too. Really yummy and they gave me extra. This is one of the cutest little train stops ever. It's a drive through Look at the icicles on that. The sun is just now coming up. It's 9.30. We are just coming out of Glacier National Park. Unreal, well worth it. I don't know what it's like other times of the year, but with all the snow and riding this train, it's been a magical experience. One of the cool things is with this room, we have obviously our view out the window here, but if we open our door, we get we get that side too. I'm getting out at every opportunity. Welcome to Cut Bank, folks. <laughs> Guess who I got off at the, to get off at this I, stop? I woke up some more and I went down looking for like a Red Bull or something and the guy's like, you're like the eighth person to come up here. They got like Diet Coke. There's no caffeine in Diet Coke. The irony is they call this a fresh air break, but people come here to smoke to get unfresh air. It's weird, right? Isn't that, yeah, isn't that yeah. ironic? <laughs> I've made it to the front of the train. Look at that, look at that fancy engine. I think these things are like 30 or 40 years old, but maybe someday they'll update us so we can be like fast like the rest of the world. What's the tip? Sleep on top. Obviously. 
Here's a power tip. Being my second day on a train, I learned something that only the crew knows. If you want to get through one of these gates, you just kick right here. Bam. I'm just like a conductor, engineer, same. I'm, that's me. Getting off the train there was completely worth it. This is one of our last fresh air stops before. I don't know where I am. Haver, Montana. I'm venturing a little bit further out than they said to go. We just keep seeing all this small town USA. I'm thinking we must be like right at the border of Canada. Leela likes getting off at all the stops. It's Ooh. like minus 4,000 degrees here. Okay, this ah, one is ah. all this. Going to see this sign, we might get left behind. Havery, oh, my lips are numb. And of course in Wyoming, they all have the arena for the rodeos. I have no idea how snow got inside the train. It's a little bit terrifying. This is our first night eating dinner, like properly dinner. And they give you like a three course meal. You get a free drink if you want. And it's not, not a lot of people in here. I'm actually having a little bit of sadness to think that we are just like one day, less than a day left on the train. Real linen, it got fancy. This is Patty Mary Louise. I got it all out of her, man. And she loves being on camera. That's some Mexican souffle. It's actually good. This is the best thing we've had on the train so far. How's your food, baby? Okay. Leela's food is meh, but mine, I can tell it's going to be good. Legend has it that the distance between the inner rails on a railroad, the gauge of four feet and a half inches, is the same distance as the wheel ruts from Roman chariots. And that's more of kind of a coincidence. It's really because the North beat the South in the Civil War. Look it up. I'm not exactly sure where we are. It's one of the Dakotas, but it is cold as heck. Holy cow. Even she can't take it. And she's a cold warrior. Well, that's fun, bye. Well, we have more time here. Well, you have a great time. Now I think they'll turn down up the bed for you if you ask them, but it's 11 o'clock at night. You take this 40 year old contraption, you take this fancy prison mattress, put it down here for the wife because she won't let me sleep with her down here because there's no room. I mean, if we cuddled really tight, but you got this really cool way you get up here. This thing is bulky. It's going in here. Safety first, I don't fall out of bed. I had, a, I had a sheet last night, I didn't even know it, a top sheet. Then, you know, pillows, blankets, all that, and bam, you got two beds. One for uh, me, like one third the size of the one for, for her. How come you get the big bed? Did you say you'd take this one? It's true. It's Minneapolis. Why are they not opening the doors to let me out? Just went out for some fresh air for just a minute. Oh. We're in St. Paul. How do they talk in Minnesota? I honestly do not know. <laughs> I guess they, they said we have an accent. I, I want to just like capture all the snow right here. This is freaking huge. Traveling by train just changed my soul again. And are you kidding? I'm doing it again. How are you doing? Woohoo! I'm buzzing right now. I'm just waiting for the, the <laughs> I'm waiting for the music to go on up. Look out. I'm coming through. It's beginning to look a lot like Trevor didn't get any sleep last night, but there's snow and it's pretty. Like a wrecking ball going through the room. I break out like I was born to do. Couldn't stop it if I wanted to. This is the last stop that we have before we make it to Chicago. I've never heard of this town before, but look at this cool building. I'm risking it because if you're not on the train, they will leave you. I gotta show you this like an old Amtrak station. Oh, Hope oh, that's still working. Dang it. Back, okay. Wait. I just completed shower number two. I did better than shower number one. Although the water was either scalding hot or cold. Where are you going, man? That's not us. I taped it so the door doesn't, there's no way to lock it from the outside. I wonder if they used to give you keys. But there's no way to lock them the outside. So the tape doesn't open up while we're gone. And that will protect all of our stuff from bad guys. But there's no bad guy. Everybody's nice on here. Ah. Oops. Dropping things into your room, sorry. Is that all? Thanks, yeah, yeah no, I want your gummy bears too. <laughs> you can get to Chicago from Portland for as little as $151 in coach. A roomette will set you back around $653, and it's another $1,000 for a room tour coming up. The Wisconsin River. A family bedroom, which is the same size as a regular bedroom, costs a little more. It has two more beds instead of a bathroom. Prices change depending on a bunch of factors, so make sure you do your research. We need to talk about the elephant in the room. How is this even allowed? Depending on what we're going over, these things go like 
almost a foot back and forth. I saw it like whoa. We happened to have lunch just now with one of the finance guys for Amtrak and I learned some stuff. Did you that Amtrak is a quasi-governmental agency that runs in a deficit every year. It's heavily subsidized by the government. Also, the sleeper cars are pretty dated, but in a few years they'll have all new sleeper cars all the way across Amtrak. I also asked him about high-speed rail and he says it's all just government. These countries that have high-speed rail are way subsidized by the government. High-speed rail in the U.S. I don't see that coming anytime soon. Columbus, coming up next. This is not an air break, we're sneaking out. Last time we had a roomette, this time we have a room which is twice as big, and I got my lovely assistant to give us a tour. Here's the features that we love about being in a room. You have your own private bath with a shower and a toilet. You can really enjoy the view while you ride. And yes, I did shower in here today with the door open so that I could watch because we are going through the Mississippi River and it was gorgeous, so I didn't want to miss it. Even though that spins, there are two temperatures fry you and freeze you. And this is cool, they have this thing so that you can shower and toilet paper won't get wet. This is our fitting area. We do have this pull-out table that flips right here. So here's your control panel behind us. On this side, we have some plugs. We have the dial that goes to nowhere. We do have one 120 outlet here, and there's only one in the roomette. But here, Leela. We have two. We have one here, and then we have one at our little vanity sink area. And then underneath here is just extra supplies and extra supplies. And then there's the extra bed up here. And this just comes down. But this one also reclines back. Pull the bar out a little bit. And this thing, whole thing folds down and makes into a full bed. And there are little storage spaces. And we do have a closet here. They do have little hooks. And see this? You can actually book two adjacent rooms and open a door. Probably the fanciest thing they have is this little cup holder right here. Pretty relaxing. I'm pretty sure this is our new favorite way to travel, would you say? I think so. We'll have crossed two thirds of the country in like three days. Yeah. One thing we were kind of unsure about is storage and luggage and how much and you have to check whatever. If you get a room like this, you can store some luggage under here. There's some storage up here, which is kind of cool. It's the best storage. And you can also store stuff under this seat. If you have a room or a roomette, you don't need to check the bag. It's only this far. And there's our bag. If you're in coach, pretty sure you only have the overhead storage bins. And if you have big bags, you have to, you have to check them. You wouldn't have access during the trip, probably. Spirit life trickled down. To be able to lay out for a nap in the middle of the day. Don't let a drop go to waste. just like a little nostalgic for me to be here. It's been over 30 years since I walked into this building and it's kind of exactly what I remember it to be. Just something like amazing and grand and I don't know, everybody should experience something like this. In Chicago, there's only one thing to do here and that's- Oh, there's two things to do. And hopefully I get to go see Wrigley Field. I used to take the train there and watch the Cubs play all the time. Whoa. That's a big old building. That blows my mind. Six inches, the whole tower sways. Unbelievable. Hang on, Leela. Hang on. You're on your way to the top of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. So is it weird if I just face all you guys? No, sorry. You feel awkward? <laughs> Pizzerino Uno is the first original deep dish pizza. This is deep dish. Holy heck. Incredible. Incredible. Are you going to marry Stephanie? Yes. Huh? Did you know that he was going to marry you? No. <laughs> there is something about a lot of energy, a lot of things happening, man. This is, this is more people than I think I've seen in like six months. remember we were being here you know and it was like happy good memories and so it just kind of came flooding back to me just that I remember oh, 